Feel the waves surrounding us, the light of love, the waves of love from the divine, from each family member here. Together, what we create is this magic. We create this unity. Let that touch your heart. Let it grow your heart, expand your heart. Find that place of deeper love where you are, where your own beautiful self lives in divine communion with the all that is, with the cryon entourage, with the beings on the other side of the veil and here that cheer us on, that support us with their waves of love. And let that in and let it open you. And let it continue to open you in the energy that Cryon brings, in the message that Cryon brings, and in the love that Cryon brings. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. And so it is the end of the series. I speak now to those in the room. Of course, there are many listening. But the ones in the room have felt a coherence of energy. It's part of a beautiful benevolent system that over time allies hearts with knowledge, with experience. And so groups of individuals tend to bond together who have had the same kinds of experiences with one another. And when it has to do with love, the knowledge that you've gained, you become a group that is coherent. Perhaps it's a time you will never forget. Perhaps for you it's one of many. But there will never be another time exactly like this one. And therefore, it is absolutely unique. This day has been filled with knowledge, information about the body, the human body, your body. And we have given so much in the past regarding not only what is coming, but what is present within you that has not yet been realized. I don't like to use the term activated, for it is misused. But in this particular case, there are things within you that lay there dormant, ready to be understood and awakened. But I want to go the other direction for a moment because I talk to those in this room and those listening who are old souls. You have literally come from an older energy. Adults all. And this new energy truly is only a few years old. And in that, it's just beginning to develop. Questions were asked to the doctor today. If these things are known and can be proven, why isn't the world at your feet? And the answer is, the same as I just said to you, literally, the things that are now being discovered and worked on and finally coming together as a whole, literally, are only four years old. It's almost like a newborn energy on the planet 
It has to be studied, developed, practiced, documented, published. All of these things take time. And now I want to talk about you in that light. Dear ones, what you carry to the party as an old soul is an old, old bias, especially when it has to do with health. Yesterday, I gave you a channel called The Great Escape. And we talked to the various layers of escaping from the old energy, starting with the precession of the equinox, the escape from the war that may have happened. We talked about the various layers of belief, and one of them was health. But we never talked about the main one. What about escape from yourself? And now we start to exemplify something that you haven't really thought about. You're learning that thoughts and previous incidents combine together often to create imbalance in the human body. That some of the worst diseases of today are literally part of the thought process of the human being. So it's not something that you idly contact or catch, but it's created by thinking. It's almost like your thinking gives an allowance for it to be there. And so I ask you, what kind of a sentient being are you that would allow your own thought process to infect you on a regular basis? Have you ever thought about it that way? How could you be so weak, you might say, that these things would occur on a regular basis to you, your relatives, your friends? And this is an expose. Dear ones, welcome to an old energy with old processes and old thoughts that you pulled right across that veil of 2012 into this place. It's time to dismiss this. The whole idea of the thought processes creating disease can be reframed and reworked so that you can understand the past, but don't pull it into the future. Why do you think that we have given you the affirmations of the day, the things to think upon, including your alliance to the greatness of spirit, your relationship to the planet, the peaceful attitude that we've told you that is yours? Can you imagine a generation starting now, of young people who understand this at some level. Can you imagine in generations from now the elimination of disease by itself? Can you imagine a generation who knows that how they think is how the body goes? And so there is an acknowledgement of positiveness, of the affirmations. There are those here who need to hear it. Right across this veil of 2012, you've dragged all the things that you believe you belong to. Listen, dear one, you do not belong to depression. It doesn't own you. It doesn't own you but you think it does. You fought it. You believe it's you. Your name is on it. It isn't. It isn't. You have the name of God on you. And you can strip this layer by layer and stand there with no medication ever and be powerfully positive and happy. All that you would want to be because this is a new energy. It's not the old. Don't be afraid to start the experiments 
of affirmations, peeling the onion of the old you. There are many I could say this to. What is the old you today? If you were to define yourself, how would you define yourself? Well, I am so old, right there is an error. And I've had this operation and that operation, and I've caught this and that. Why do you define yourself like this? It's time to redefine even who you are. I am, give your name, your name here. I am a powerful human being on this planet. And every single day, there are good things that pile up waiting for me to work on and work through and discover. Can you wake up with a thought that says, I'm going to work on the affirmations today because I have discovered that what I say happens for the same reason, I'll say it again, for the same reason that homeopathy works, it is a message to the template of health in your body. A template that is designed for you living 900 years. The template is broken in most of humanity. It's broken because of the way you think, it is broken because of the things that are currently on this planet that beat you up on a regular basis. It's broken because you do not understand that what you think, you become. And now it's time to superimpose the beauty of the love of God onto your life in such a way that you start reframing who you are. You can't drag the old to the new. It doesn't work. I want you to think about that being as a, as a pipe. And somehow you've crawled through that pipe and everything's come with you. All the malaise and all of the health issues, all of the depression. Let's just come along for the ride. Now I want you to think for a moment that pipe is going to be cut off. You're going to just cut it in half. And everything on the other side, that old energy from before 2012, has to stay where it is. Do you recognize the metaphor? It's the Akashic room. You put all the old stuff in there, you shut the door, you locked it, and said, no more. And this is what we're saying now. For you, there is something magical about a template of the human body that is waiting to be balanced. The balancing of this template can happen so many ways with so many processes and many are natural and the best and the one that is most available even to the one that doesn't have a dollar in his pocket. The process of love of self. The template begins to balance, health starts to increase, lifespan starts to be expanded. When the template literally clicks into balance, We've given the information before, when you put unnatural things into your body, the template is corrupted. Did you notice this? that with that which you call pharmaceutical products, there's always side effects. You push in one thing, it pops out in another place. That should tell you that the balance of the body is interrupted. It's actually rejecting it. You may think that it is saving your life. It may not be. It's time for a revelation that the most natural thing you can do is the most natural thing. The advent of multidimensional cures is at hand because the body is a multidimensional vessel and it's going to respond and react to things that you haven't really considered yet. But the one that is available now, before the inventions, before the discoveries, 
is a beautiful multidimensional process called consciousness. That's the tool. You want to know what the tools are of this new age? It's you able to rework, reframe how you think about yourself. How would it be to escape from everything you pulled into this age? Have you ever had dreams of flying, winning the lottery? <laughs> and you feel such a sense of freedom. For those of you who have problems with your joints, you dream about running. For those of you who have issues with finance, you dream about the lottery. This is you at your best. In a subconscious way, there is that feeling of, yes, I want to do this. I want to be free of this. I'd like to escape. And dear ones, none of those things are false. It's almost like your innate is saying, this is you. This is you. You can dream about it. You can be it. Why do you then close the door when you wake up? It's almost like your body trying to signal to you. You can run. And you can be free. And you can stop worried about how old you are. Or what's next? That's the freedom of you being released from yourself. I want you to leave this room with this idea that you can change the very core of who you are. It won't happen overnight. And the reason is because it is a complex puzzle to take apart that which you've dragged into this energy. And most of you don't even know it. The old habits are there and they remain. Who are you? I am. Your name goes here. I am a child of God. I'm on this earth for a purpose and I have God inside. It's a beautiful existence filled with healing and beauty and things I cannot imagine or expect are next. Period. That's who I am. Can you believe that? If you can even marginally sense that's you, dear ones, there is hope that you can cut the pipe. It's so difficult for so many because you defined yourself by what's wrong with you. And spirit sits here saying, there's the human being who created all their own problems themselves, who wallow in it, who define themselves by it, and are proud of it. Maybe it's time to see that and to change it and stand up and walk proud that you no longer are diseased or have the things that bother you off of the drugs that imbalance you that never really have helped that much. This is who you are. There are many who are hearing this and are puzzled perhaps because you weren't here today to hear the full package of information. But what we are saying is you are always in control of who you are. But now, in this new energy since 2012, this has been magnified greatly. The tool to create who you are. Affirmations every day. The positiveness of the future actually creates energy for you. What a deal that you can create your own reality like this. Let me tell you something. There are healings potentially in this room. But the ones I listen to right now, can't you sense they're coming? And they'll be permanent. I'll tell you this. When the human body has its template balanced 
it's all your life. As long as it's balanced, you don't have to keep reminding it about balance. That's the difference between the old energy and the new. You have the idea of something that's good for you, and so you repeat it and repeat it. The only thing I want you to repeat is how great you are, the affirmations that you give yourself, and the magnificence that you can see yourself in every day. You are eternal, and when you're done with this life, you're coming right back in a way that's new and different, pristine, with awareness of what not to do, with a better life than you can imagine, because the old soul and the new energy is the graduate of earth, knows what they're doing, wise beyond the lifetimes, noticeable by others. And that is why this is all going to take generations, generations to develop an earth that will never go to war, an earth that will slowly graduate in a consciousness, will have an awakening of the Akash, will then have the inventions starting to be given that literally will void physics and the problems and all of the things that keep you from doing this or that. It's all there. Knowledge will be yours. Disease will be gone. Is it a utopia? How do you define utopia? Humans will always have different ideas and different opinions. There will always be friction. It's not a situation where there will be a perfect earth. But I will tell you, at this point in time, looking ahead, the perfect earth is the one where you don't kill yourself. The one where you are allied with Gaia and understand the cycles therein, expecting them, working with them, understanding how the life process and creation works, getting to a point where you'll understand how to create electricity by the, the heat that the earth has given you that lays right, be, right below the crust of this planet. And it's free. That's just one of many things that will stop the pollution. There are so many things that you will advance into that are not on the radar screen of any futurist because they can't even imagine it. That's what an evolved race is. One who starts the discovery of the things unseen. But it starts here with you surviving, old soul, to create a template that you pass on to the next generations, balancing the template. That's what you can do. There is so much here to say, but I'll wait. The future can be so much more than you can even imagine. You're born at the right time in the right place. Right now, this phase is difficult because you're discovering black and white. No more fence sitting. We've told you that before. You might say, what does that really mean? You're looking at it. What works and what does not? What's black and what is white? What is acceptable and not? What has integrity and what does not? In business, in finances, all around you, in politics, all of these things, you're starting to see them tested to the max. That will pull off the fence, which wasn't belong and never should be there. Changes are at hand. Indeed, old soul, and in the process, you can have such grand health as you work the puzzle. And so it is.